Hi, I'm Matt Collins. I'd like to welcome you to Bob Weber Auto Mart on Douglas Avenue here in Racine across from Douglas Park. We specialize in one-year-old, low-mileage, almost new cars. And if you'd like to stop by and see them or see them on our website, bobweberautomart.com, we can save you between five dollars and $10,000 on your next almost new car purchase. Hi, I'm Matt. Welcome to another edition of Sports Junkies. I'm Steve Sparky Pfeiffer. He, of course, Gary Wolfel of the Racine Journal Times. You can catch me on the Wendy's Big Show weekdays in Milwaukee at Sports Radio 1250 WSSP. And uh, talking high school hoops in May. Okay. Why are we talking high school hoops? Because St. Katz made a historically horrible decision. Hey, can I interrupt you? I don't want to be rude, but can I interrupt you? I want to put on my seatbelt here. Oh, we are headed for a wild ride. <laughs> okay, it's on. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm doing my job at work and so forth, and I get a call uh, from our high school insider at Sports Radio 1250, Mike McGivern, and said, hey, did you hear? Now, anytime it starts with, hey, did you hear, that means something it's, it's is... It's good. It's that, good. Well, it's exactly. good. That's it's always, probably yeah. not, but it's probably not good news. No. And I said, what? Bob Letch out at St. Cat's. I said, huh? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Mike, come on, man. You're big time. You don't get things <laughs> wrong. They ain't getting rid of Bob Letch at St. Cat's. I was just at the Racine Hall of Fame induction dinner this last exactly. year. Correct. Now, is there a Racine Hall of Fame sports induction dinner jinx now? Ah, uh, 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 don't know. Yeah. But I was there. Had a couple beverages with, with Coach Latch after. It was beautiful. Gave a great speech. All of, some of his uh, old teammates were there. It was awesome. So I'm going, nah. He goes, Sparky, I'm telling you. It's all done. So then I was like, oh. So then I called my good old buddy Gary Wolf right here. You can read his story uh, at racingsportszone.com. Yeah, be sure to bring something to drink. It's a long story. Can you, uh, Gary, explain to me the reasoning behind the dumb, stupid decision made by St. Cat? You, you want my thesaurus? Dumb, stupid, you can keep going moronic. Ignorant, yeah, yeah. Exactly. There are plenty of adjectives we could throw out in this one. To me, the adjective I would use is baffling. And trying to really put a finger on what happened here is virtually impossible. There, there's only probably a handful of people that really know what went on in this situation. We, we've been given Bob Letch's story. I believe him. But at the same time, we have not heard from St. Catherine. What's Bob this. Letch's story? Bob Letch's story is that he walked into the office last Friday, and uh, they basically had the paperwork all set to go for him to retire. Okay? And he was asked, do you want to uh, retire? And he said, no. He said, I want to coach. And then they said they would non-renew his contract. And in typical Bob Lett style, he goes, don't renew it. <laughs> you know, it was like on any given Sunday. Remember that movie? I would have loved to have been there at that moment to sing. But, I mean, it's like th this guy, and, and I heard it repeatedly in the interviews I did for the article, is like he's, been, he's an institution at St. Catharines. Yeah, 35 years, whatever it is. Somehow, some way, Cooler Head sh should have prevailed in this whole matter. I was like three when he started there. Yeah, exactly. I, I played, That's a long time. In high school, I played basketball at St. Catharines yep. against his JV team. But anyways, Cooler Head should have prevailed. I mean, these are mature men, and egos clashed. And we've seen it in all walks of life, you know, in all types of businesses where you have a personality conflict, Something's going to happen. Can I just say something here for a second? Why? Just no. for a second. No. Hold on. Wait, no, hold on a second. second. It's not going to be for a second. No, but that. seriously, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. okay? Bob Letch isn't 50. Bob Letch isn't 40 or 30 or whatever else. Yeah, right. So whatever your little personality conflict is, what's his name, Ollie? <laughs> Ollie, whatever your personal conflict is, just suck it up. Yeah, I mean, exactly. How long do you think Lutch is going to coach there? Another 30 years? Yeah, yeah, that, that's the crazy thing about it. I mean, by all accounts, he probably would have retired after this coming season. Because this group... I doubt and, it. And here, no, no. He told me this. That this senior to be class, he told them when they were freshmen. Because he was thinking about retiring. In fact, he called me at home and told me, he said, Gary, I'm going to retire. And I said, okay, Bob, let's talk about something else. Because he said this on a couple occasions. But he said that he had promised these kids that he would stay there for the duration of their careers because a couple kids were thinking about transferring at that point. 
And he said, no, I'll give you my word that I'll be here. Well, his word only went so far. Well, fine. He, he kept his word. He kept his end of the deal. But again... Um, I can't wait to see who replaces him. Oh, I can't wait. Who is going to take that job to replace Bob Lutch? Who, oh, who, oh, who? Who is going to want to fill those shoes after Lutch, who has won state titles, basketball Hall of Fame, racing sports Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. all this? Who is Mr. Ali going to get that's going to come in and do what Bob Lutch did? Because I'm going to tell you something, Mr. Ali. If you really think <laughs> in your heart of hearts that your basketball program is going to be at this high level like it was with Lech, the way this all just went down, you're kidding yourself. Those kids that were coming to St. Cats to play for Coach Lech probably aren't coming anymore. Yeah, again, I mean... And I'll tell you something else, too. Mm. If I'm a city school and right you now... you just wanted one second. No, <laughs> if I'm a city school right now in Racy, yeah. I'm clapping. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. Because now, Absolutely. that's no, one no, less no. school they got to worry about people going to. No, no Don't got to worry about that anymore. That's a done deal. And if I was Coach Latch, oh, buddy, I may coach for another 10 years now. <laughs> and I'm going to find a school right here in their backyard to coach for. Well, you know what I like to see, and it's not going to happen. Well, I, I shouldn't say it's not going to happen. And we talked about this before we came on. Jeff Christensen is the head coach at Racine Lutheran. Great guy, great coach, has, has an almost an impeccable record himself, you know. I would love to see him and Bob team up. And if Bob can't go back to St. Catharines in any manner, I would like to see Jeff bring on Because they're in the same conference. Correct. Right. Yeah. And just, it's like the movie, Two Grumpy Old Men, and just say, you know, the heck with you guys. We're going to do it our way and do it the right way. And I said this off. I think they, those guys would hit it off tremendously. I want them at Prairie. That's what I want. <laughs> Oh, I'm serious. I want him at Prairie, and I want Prairie to win, and win big. Because I'll tell you something else. If he's at Prairie, they'll get those kids that would have went to St. Cat's. He's going to start getting those kids. Mark my words, he's going to get them. And that basketball program will go from where it's been to a whole different level of being. Now, again, Whitefish Bay Dominican is king, okay, in that mm -hmm. conference. And I get that, and I totally understand that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going away quietly if I'm yeah, Bob Lutch. You know what? I'm not. And, and I'll tell you, Ali isn't in a no-win situation right now. now Which is all fault. Yeah, well, absolutely. I don't care what Lutch said or what Lutch did. Well, Unless, that, that, that's that's the question. I mean, if we're assuming we, he did nothing. And, I don't know. I know. And, exactly. So I'm not assuming. No, that's, so hold on a second. That's where Ali has to step up and say, hey, if he had a specific reason outside that we had a personality conflict, then he's got a real issue. No, 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 no. You know? I, and I disagree with you. I'm sure somewhere along the line, Bob Lutz probably said a few choice words. Oh, absolutely. I could see that happening. No question. Sure, I could. I've said it before, too. But, like I said before, if it's a personality conflict, suck it up and stay in your office, Mr. Ollie, and hey, wait hey, it hey, out. Hey, He's hey, going hey. to be gone. He's going to retire. You get your guy, and you don't put yourself in this position. But because your ego got the best of you here, now you look like the fool at the hey, end of the day. Well, you, and now you're going to have St. Cats alum. Which, by the way, our former NBA players, some of which are college D1 college players, all the alumni well, in no. 35 years. Do you know how many people have been influenced by Bob Lutch in 35 years? Well, that you, Mr. Ali, now are going to have to deal with. Good luck. Yeah, well, the third person in this too, and, and he can't be um, forgotten, is Corey Shield, the athletic director. True. He played a role in this, from what I understand, it, as much as Ali did. So. Yeah, but Shield, in your story, said. Everything goes to the well, Of course. Okay, well, wait a second. Now, if I'm the athletic director and if I made this call, I'll take him. But if he didn't make the call and if Ali made the call, then it's like, hey, man, I wasn't part of this. You go talk well, to him. I, I, I'm not so sure. I mean, Bob Letch has gone on record as saying he had his differences with the athletic director as well. With Sheely, too. This is a factor, yes. So so they're both then going to be at fault. Yeah. So, I mean, again, I mean, the it, only it, way if, if I'm only, I come out and say, hey, Put my cards on the table, and this crap about we can't talk because it's a, it's a uh, personnel matter. That that's baloney. Okay, you can talk about it if, if in a situation like it. it's a private school. There's only one situation where I see in which they can be justified, unless I'm forgetting about, unless I'm missing something here. Okay, if they have a possibility of being sanctioned by the WIAA. With because of that basketball program and something with that Lech did or something that they're being investigated for, whatever else, and then they said, get out of here before this comes out and you look crazy. 
If that's going on, okay, fine. That, that's what I'm saying. That's we, different. That's but if it's point. just a that's, personality conflict, I agree. Th- then you you made a horrendous mistake. Yeah, absolutely. That, just suck it up and stay in the office. And that's why I'm going to be reserved on this until we hear the facts, if we ever get the facts on this. Because I totally agree. If it's a personality conflict, get over it. You're, yes. gro- you're grown-up men. Everybody has disputes in every walk of life. You move on, and you, like you said, suck yeah. it up. Um, and I'll tell you the other thing from a coaching standpoint. I have covered a lot of NBA games over the years. And, and I've said this to other people. Who Bob Lutch has more time to go to NBA games now. <laughs> I was saying, That's a positive. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd bring that up at some point. <laughs> but I, and I sincerely mean this. He is as good of a coach as I've seen at any level. High school, college, pros. And you watch his teams. They are so disciplined. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, you can just tell that they were coached by one of the best around. I, I, I don't even know what to say, other than it was one of the worst decisions I've ever seen made in high school sports in this state. I, that's all I guess. I mean, I've seen a lot of dumb things happen. The whole thing of Whitefish Bay you know, thing, and how they handled the deal with Paul Wallershaw before anything was fought out, correct, of, correct. and then nothing is brought up uh, against Wallershaw, nothing ever comes of it or anything. The whole thing's a mistake, and they just can him right off the bat. That was stupid. And this is even worse. Yeah. Well, you know, it's beautiful, too. I mean, and St. Catharines is a small school. They don't have a marketing machine there to help them out in, in situations like this. But the news is already out there Saturday afternoon. I made a call to Ole. He did not return my call. I had to end up going over to his house to confront him there. After I get there, he says, yeah, we put out a release. The re- release is just real short and concise. It's at RacingSportsZone.com, Gary yeah. Wolfel's article. And, uh, you know, the timing was incredible. I mean, if they wanted to do this from a marketing standpoint and just try to uh, contain the damage, they should have waited until after the school year, in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? They could have they, they waited all exactly. fired up. Now those kids are going to school and everybody's talking about the left situation. They're not concentrating on their studies. You know what I mean? They're going to have rallies, you know, on Mondays. I'm sorry. I mean, unless you're like 24 and just want a job, I mean, no established coach is going to St. Cats to try follow up. Mm-hmm. I don't think. Well, so. I'll tell you what, too. The other I thing, really don't. And, and you know what? He, like I said earlier, he's an institution. He's an icon. At this point in his career, unless he did something illegal, that's my they, thing. And I don't know. I'm assuming not. But we don't know. They, they should pay homage to this guy for what he's done to St. Catharines for know. all these years. I can't wait. You know? I, I, I want to see if St. Cats actually has the guts to come out and actually say something. Well, I well, mean, they know, you know, you know, you know, you know what? I'm not going to say nothing. I St. Cats. Well, no, it, it's a couple individual, and you shouldn't even say it's St. Catharines. It, no, because I like Coach Miller on the football side. They're, they're, hey, I they're, understand they're, what The I'm vast like. majority of people at St. Catharines are very good people. They're, they're very concerned about their school and so forth. These guys got to come together. I, I don't think it's over yet. I, I'm from the Yogi Berra school. So it isn't over till it's over. I think they should get somebody should come together, Chuck Wood or somebody over at St. Catharines, and bring those guys back into the room and say, "Hey, we're going to hash this out and, and get it resolved." And I'll tell you what, I would bring Letch back. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. There, there's no doubt in my mind. That would be but, like bringing me back up. You told me you didn't want me. How do you? How do you? How do you, ever, ever, how do you think I'm going to respond to that exactly? I think Bob would. I mean, Bob's loyalty is to the school. It's not to one or two or three individuals. It's to St. Catherine. It was. It still is. I think he's about as loyal to that school as you'll find. I mean, he could have went other places. Well, the now he's got a chance. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, do you want at age 70 to move out of town after your, your whole well, family? He doesn't have to move out of town. No, but there's no openings right now. So There might be tomorrow or today. But I'm you don't think Letch's phone is ringing in town right now? But, but hey, Bob, since they can't say, hey, man, it's so-and-so school. Hey, man, it's so-and-so school. How long will it take to get you But, but there's individuals. You may have that, a job I did in the week. Yeah, there's individuals uh, at St. Catharines that can serve as intermediaries and bring this back together and say, hey, you know what? We all made a mistake. We, we resolved it. And what a good message it would send to the community, too, that we thought this out as adults mm. and came to a conclusion. Well, now, my thing, is this pie in the sky? I don't know. There's no way, no how, I'd ever go back there if I was Ledge. Oh, I, I would. Not a chance. The, 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 Not a chance. I'd go somewhere else and I'd he, try Barry. He has put his heart and soul into that. I get it. Yeah. And that's how he gets treated on the way out? You but don't wait, think I'm going to hold a grudge over that? You know what? Hey, 
Are there guys at SSP that don't like you, maybe even hate you? Probably. Absolutely. Are there people that hate me here? Absolutely. It's in every working environment. Let me explain something Still, to you. Yeah. Let me explain this to you. Of course, everybody if, likes you, buddy. No, let me just say this. <laughs> if I get fired at SSP, yeah. you don't think I'm going to hold a grudge? You don't uh, think I'm going to want to go what? somewhere else and try and bury SSP? If you weren't here, now there's not a rival paper in town, but if you weren't here and there was a rival paper, you wouldn't want to go across town and go work at that other paper and yeah, try yeah, 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 the guy that fired yeah, If it's one or two individuals, I would work through it. I would. Because they realize that, hey, that's their, that's their issue. No, no, work through it. You are Bob Black. You yeah, are okay. out. You're right. I know. But, I mean, if I'm, if I'm offered to come back and I only have to deal with one or two individuals that are, you know, what, I'll, I'll deal with it because the vast majority of people are behind How you. How do you go back and work for people that you know don't want you? That, how, how do you work for those people I that can. are your bosses that you know fired you? In fact, look, I'll tell you a story, quick story. Quick story time. Oh, boy. Two minutes. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell you the story. Because Jeez, it wouldn't be quick. No, it wouldn't be. Okay. No, but this similar thing kind of happened to me. Almost, almost, well, not identical, but it was attempted and it was stopped. Yeah. So, and I had to go through those conditions, kind of, mm-hmm. but I was never officially fired right. or told your contract's not being renewed. I never went through any of that stuff. Like him, he's out on the street now, outside looking in. I know he's never out in the building. So from that aspect, it's different. But I promise you, if I would have been fired, I would be working somewhere else trying to bury him. Because I hold grudges. No, it's not but, very but, Christian-like. But, but. I get it. But I do hold grudges. And I believe in, in going back and getting somebody. And if I'm Bob Lesh, but, but he's I'm going to Prairie, and I'm going to Prairie, I'm knocking on the door. You people are not showing on money. Hire me to be your basketball coach. Sorry to whoever the basketball coach is now. No disrespect, but Bob Letch is a hell of a lot better. I'm Bob Letch, and I want to come here and fix Jason, this basketball program. Don't take that as being personal. But no. Yes, you should. Bob Letch is a Hall of Famer. Wait, wait is he going to tell me no, Bob Letch isn't, isn't as good as me? Get out of here. Yes, he's better than you. Move yeah. on. Well, okay. That's who should hire on Prairie. He's Gary Wolf, I'm Steve Sparky, Pfeiffer. Prairie, don't screw this up. Call Bob Letch. That'll do it for another edition Jeff of... Jeff Christensen, give Bob a call. I would love to see it. Two of the best coaches we've ever seen in this county, side by side on the bench. Can you imagine the buzz that would create? I love Christensen, but I want... I love both of them. I want, Letch, they, I want they, Letch to run his own show. And what would be better than taking Prairie and putting him on top? That would be awesome. See Sparky Five for Gary Wolfel. Enjoy the rest of your day here at RacingSportsZone.com. Bob Letch, he's a free agent. <laughs>